Hey guys, Christian here. It's been a while and as the old adage goes, sell in May and go away. And that's exactly what I did. In today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly what I sold, why I sold it, and why I converted into certain blockchain assets that I think will do extremely well over the next couple of years. So let's dive right in. May was a month that none of us will soon forget as many happenings occurred that really caused markets to capitulate and hit new lows when it came to June and July. And it was just a bloodbath throughout almost all equity markets. As most of you know, I am and will always be a real estate investor. It's been a great run over the past 10 years, and this real estate cycle is just about over as far as I can tell. And the real estate market has been incredibly inflated as prices have hit all-time highs because of the Fed's actions to keep interest rates incredibly low over the last 10 years. With mortgage rates now hitting 6, 7, and close to 8% in some markets, my thoughts are 2023 is going to be really bad, and I wanted to front run that and get out there and sell most of the real estate assets that I've got right now in order to take advantage of some of these depressed prices across the blockchain space. The question as it comes to most assets right now is when will the Fed pivot and start printing money again? I don't know when that'll happen, but it may be too late as we're starting to see recessionary tracks take place in Europe, the US, Canada, all over the world right now. And it's going to be a very bumpy ride here for the next couple of years. While I was selling off my real estate assets this summer, I was also learning from some of the top professors in the world. I highly recommend taking classes on Coursera. I don't get paid or sponsored by them, but the classes are extremely beneficial and I learned a ton. After taking web development, blockchain specialization, and DeFi specialization, I then took that knowledge and started working on different blockchain projects, mainly on the Ethereum testnet, but then I created an EVM sandbox. I was completely stoked the first time I was able to invoke MetaMask. That was so cool. I coded a Solidity smart contract, was able to deploy that using Aladdin, and now I've learned just so much more than I knew before about everything blockchain, how it works, what the basics are, and even some of the development techniques that are used in order to create some of these really cool dApps that run across the blockchain space. One thing I can definitely tell you about Web 3.0 is that it's here to stay. Ethereum, Solana, Near, Bitcoin, of course, and there'll be plenty of other projects. I think that GameFi is really going to take blockchain to the next level, and there are several different projects out there that I'm really bullish on. One, as you know, is DeFi Kingdoms. In this down market though, I really want to take advantage of these prices and start farming tokens on different protocols like Uniswap and Ref Finance, some of the Clayton Swap projects that are out there, and many others. This really gives us an opportunity to dollar cost average into these incredibly low values and hopefully take advantage of the next bull market when a lot of these projects who survive run up like they did in the last bull market. I'm super excited because as far as I'm concerned, every asset will soon be on the blockchain. And by soon, I'm not talking next year or the year after, but in the next five to 10 years, everything that holds some type of value to it will be digitalized and it'll be available for us to buy and sell almost instantaneously with close to instant finality, which is just super exciting, especially when you come from a real estate background like me, where it takes 30 to 45 days to close a transaction. Giving you a little history of where I come from, in 2018 and 19, there was no DeFi, right? And then in the summer of 2020, boom, I sat at home during COVID learning how to create content on YouTube and I witnessed the creation of several DeFi projects, but I didn't jump into crypto until summer 2021. I was probably like most of you, I bought crypto investments that I thought and speculated that they'd go up in value because hey, everything went up in value. Then I learned about some new east side chain called Polygon, but for some reason the token was Matic. Then I started learning how to yield farm on Matic and several other DeFi protocols. Then I was hooked. After farming a few thousand Matic, I got into Gala Games. I started playing Townstar, which was a really interesting project, but then I figured I might as well go all in and I bought a Gala Founders node. That allows me to farm Gala tokens and also too, to support their GameFi ecosystem by running a validator that allows us to be a decentralized autonomous network. I continue to be 
incredibly bullish about Gallo long-term because of the great games that they're creating. This ecosystem reminds me exactly of Web 2.0's Steam ecosystem. There's going to be a ton of content that's created on the Gala network, and they're only getting better over time. After getting so excited about Gala games, I jumped right into Monkey Ball as I saw it as being a GameFi project that could take the Solana blockchain to a new level. Unfortunately, Monkey Ball didn't live up to the hype, but at the same time, I also got into DeFi Kingdoms. And in October of 2021, I was hooked. This little blockchain game became my pastime and I started farming on DFK. I found the UST Jewel token pair to be yielding 1600%, which at the time I thought was pretty decent. But now looking back, that was amazing. Unfortunately, yes, that's the same UST that is now currently poo poo. After riding the euphoric waves in 2022 and then the massive crashes, it was time to learn more about blockchain technology and if it's all hype or does it have some long-term potential. So I spent several hundred hours just in education alone and I know now that it's here to stay and growing faster than any previous technology that includes cell phone technology and the internet. As all fiat currencies are doomed to fail at some point, crypto has the ability to take us to the next evolution of money. It also has the ability to digitize every asset, which I was skeptical at first, but now I understand the power of digital scarcity. At some point in the not too distant future, it will be so nice to open your wallet up, transfer ownership of any currency to anyone else in the world instantly, or better yet, transfer your car, house, boat, or any asset for that matter, with no intermediaries, and that means no huge costs involved. The real question is, how does this benefit you and me? And as Professor Cam Harvey at Duke University states, DeFi will create opportunities that very few people are currently aware of, and many of the early projects such as Aave, Compound, Maker, and Uni are only a fraction of what they will become. Many traditional players like the Black Rocks of the world and the Fidelities, they're going to buy their way into crypto. And some projects, yes, I'm looking at you, USDC, are already in that category. But they can't write the rules when it comes to blockchain as that's all encompassed in the code. And that code will provide a level playing field for everyone involved. The communities out there in blockchain continue to thrive. And some of my favorites happen to be the Bankless podcast. I love those guys. They are incredible and they do the right thing. I listen to them religiously on YouTube. Also, Into the Cryptoverse with Benjamin Cohen. His wonderful content, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. He gives you the facts, the historic performances, everything that you need to know in order to make an informed decision. I'm also incredibly excited about DeFi Kingdoms. Most of you probably think that the ETH merge was the biggest news over the summer, but no, I think it was actually DFK moving to the Clayton blockchain and therefore solidifying a position where they can continue to build for the next several years. I'm super excited about that. I continue adding to my stable of heroes and watching the content made by some of the great content creators in the community like the Sandwich Punches and the others out there. I'm looking at you, Crypto Grady. I'm also putting my development skills to work and creating a utility that I find beneficial to track items, heroes, tokens, and everything that's there in the DFK ecosystem. By the way, I also owe a couple of you out there videos. I apologize, Coolio and Born to Die. I love some of the projects that are being built right now, like DFK Helper and DFK Quester and all of the other smart people that are building a really cool utilities to use inside the DFK ecosystem. I'll have those videos out soon. So make sure if you want to see them to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you'll be notified as soon as those videos are available. I love speaking to all of the smart people across the blockchain ecosystem, all the creators in DFK, all of the technology people that are building and everybody associated with it. If you know somebody that I can interview, please leave a comment down below, tag them in it, and I'll try to get them on the channel. The world of blockchain, crypto, DeFi, GameFi, NFTs, and everything that's out there right now in Web 3.0 is in its infant stages. And that really allows us the time to do the due diligence, to find out what really, really makes you interested. We all have a huge opportunity here before the next bull market comes in. So make sure if you haven't already, smash that like button, hit that subscribe and bell notification, and we'll all go on this Web 3 journey together.